Good morning. If you haven't noticed, I'm not Pastor Sandra. And if you didn't notice, there's something wrong with you, okay? Um, Pastor Sandra is with her mother and her sister this morning in her hometown as they attended a family wedding this week. Now, she texted me this morning and she told me it has been a wonderful and happy time for the family, but it's been very hard on her mom. But her mom has really enjoyed it herself. So we're, we're delighted for that. We're delighted that Sandra was able to go and do that. That's going to change our worship this morning a little bit. It means that we're going to have an all-musical worship service today. Um, but, but before we start, that, and, and our choir director, Rick DeYoung, is going to come up and he's going to provide us some more details about our worship today, but after I make a few announcements. <laughs> If, if you think uh, things might be just a little off kilter, they are, okay? But, but we are here this morning to worship the Lord, and the Lord is, is with us this morning. We thank you all for being here either in person or on social media. We always hope that you will find, and we pray that we will be, a welcoming and joyful church. So thank you for being with us and worshiping the Lord. Um, a couple of quick announcements is that 3 o'clock this afternoon there will be a finance committee meeting and then followed immediately at 4 o'clock by a church council meeting. At 5 o'clock this evening uh, there will be a worship service and fellowship as usual. Um, also, on let's, I guess it's uh, our congregational care team has planned a fun day next Saturday. It's a church-wide event. Now, somebody help me with the times. It is 1 to 3? 11 to 3. 11 to 3, okay. So it is 11 o'clock, 3 o'clock. It's open to all of Cook's uh, church family. Uh, all are in invited um, to, for that event. I, I understand there will be some sort of games and maybe uh, some food. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to that. There's more detail about it in your, in your bulletin if you have one this morning. Let us turn our hearts and prayers to worship as soon as Rick makes his announcements. Oops. I knew he'd forget. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, just a couple quick announcements. Next Sunday, we were so excited. This past Wednesday, for the first time in 18 months, we had a full choir rehearsal here. And next Sunday, you will have the choir back up here singing, and we'll be singing twice a month. The following Sunday after that, the handbells will be back. So. Um, I'm very excited as the uh, music director here to feel like things are somewhat getting back musically to normal here. Um, and we had a great turnout, and it was just nice to hear four-part harmony being sung here. Nothing against Lisa singing every Sunday, of course, but hearing four-part harmony for the first time in 18 months was just amazing. Um, also, uh, when Sandra says, hey, I will not be here on the uh, 10th of October, can you do something with just music? I said, sure. And, you know, living in Nashville, I always have such great musicians uh, to call on, so I've got five of the best here from Nashville. Names are in the bulletin, don't need to uh, um, call them out, but I hope you enjoy today's musical service. Um, we have a lot of fun up here. Um, if we're having too much fun, it's okay if you plug your ears, but we are going to have fun up here. Um, so without that, we're going to go ahead and uh, do our prelude.
Wow, that didn't get your blood moving and your toes tapping. There's better check your pulse. That was great. Thank you. Would you pray with me? Gracious Heavenly Father, we meet in the presence of a God whose love is freedom, whose touch is healing, whose voice is calm. We meet not in our own strength, but in the knowledge that your spirit abides with us, not only in our worship today, but in our daily lives. May the blessing we receive here be shared in the hope that others might be drawn to the God we serve. Amen. If you're comfortable doing so, would you stand and join me in the call to worship? Welcome to worship today. Bring your joys and sorrows to the Lord. We come from busy lives, filled with a host of bangs and blessings. Give your fears to the Lord, for God will heal your souls. Praise to God, who listens to our cries and heals us. Open your ears and your hearts to the Lord. We open our lives to receive God's grace and to do God's will. Amen. Good morning. Remain standing. Let's sing our first hymn, This Little Light of Mine. Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. The third day he arose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From then she shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body. The life everlasting. Amen.
chapter, and we'll be reading verses 12 through 16. Indeed, the Word of God is alive and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing until it divides soul from spirit, joints from marrow. It is able to judge the thoughts and the intentions of the heart. And before him no creature is hidden, but all are naked and laid bare in the eyes of the one to whom we must render an account. Since then, we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens. Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So we're going to sing another hymn together. It's an old hymn that I'm sure everybody remembers.
We continue now with the scripture reading, Mark 10, verses 17 through 31. As he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, I have kept all these since my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said, You lack one thing. Go, sell what you own and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When he heard this, he was shocked and went away grieving, for he had many possessions. Then Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were perplexed at these words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were greatly astounded and said to one another, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For mortals it is impossible, but not for God. For God all things are possible. Peter began to say to him, Look, we have, everything, we have left everything and followed you. Jesus said, Truly I tell you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or fields for my sake and for the sake of the good news who will not receive a hundredfold now in this age houses, brothers and sisters, mothers and children, and fields with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
Now, thank you again. Even though we're still not able to pass that offering plate like we used to do, there are still many ways that you can continue to support the ministries of cooks. There is an offering plate available at the table on the table near the exit. Uh, you may continue to give by mail, with online giving, by texting, electronically, or by dropping by the church office during normal business hours. Let us pray. For the blessings of this and all our days, we thank you, gracious God. Accept, we pray, not just this money, but also our lives, freely offered in gratitude for all that you have done for us. Use them both in this place and wherever you might lead us. Amen. Let us pray. God of infinite patience and wisdom, we come to you this day with so many things that claim our time, our energy, our resources, our very lives. We are easily drawn away from serving you by the enticements of the world for wealth, ease, and comfort. Just like the young man in the scriptures, we are owned by our possessions, held captive by our treasures. You continue to offer us healing and hope. You seek to transform our lives from the captivity to freedom in witness and service. 
We look at the world in which there is so very much warfare and strife, anger and hatred, and we easily become overwhelmed by the needs and the stresses. Help us to place our lives and our trust in you, knowing that with your help, many wonderful things can be accomplished, which will provide hope and peace for others and ourselves. Give us courage and strength to truly be your disciples. We ask in the name of Jesus, and we pray as he taught his followers to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. I'm going to have you stand with me and let's sing our final hymn. I'm sure it's a favorite of all of us. Let there be peace on earth. <laughs> to sing at the end of our service. Blessed be the body of Todd at Lyons. saying another huge thank you to, to Lisa and Rick, to these gentlemen up here, and to Eric back there in the back. Thank you. We have been made free by the love of God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Go into the world to serve God by helping others. Be at peace and bring God's peace and love with you wherever you go. Amen.